Good morning. It is Monday and um, yesterday I did not do my meal prep because there, honestly I had food left over. Um, so I think I'm going to do that one today instead of like more and more Sunday. Anywho, so I've been trying to do this thing where I wake up at like early, basically like 6 a.m., 6.30, and I try to wake up before my daughter so I can walk and do various things, but it's been difficult <laughs> because oh, I'm using my exfoliant. I already washed my face, but yeah. So it's been extremely difficult because I'll wake up and then maybe it's because we co-sleep. My daughter, she'll like notice that I'm either trying to get out of bed or I'm moving around, I'm waking up. I have no idea, but lately, I'll try to get up before her so I can have like me time, wake up early. This is what everybody's advice is. Oh, wake up before your kids. Ha ha ha. I don't know. Maybe those people have partners. Maybe their kids sleep in their own rooms. I have no idea, but that's not the case for me. Because recently, or like every time I've tried to do this, I'll wake up at like six o'clock in the morning and then my daughter will wake up with me or she'll want to wake up. So then I feed her and then she'll like go back to sleep and then I'll try waking up again like this morning. I tried at 6.30. It didn't work. She still woke up. So then I fed her a little bit more and then finally I was able to like officially get out of bed at 7 a.m. So that's like me trying, 6 a.m. all the way through 7 a.m. Yeah, and she's, she's gonna be eight months old. So I figured like maybe as she got older, she would start getting used to sleeping through the night, but I don't know. It's just not that easy. It's actually not that easy for me. It's not working out. So this morning I, you know, uh, let the dogs out, fed the dogs, and then I walked for like 20 minutes. And then, um, hold on. This I use for retinol. Yeah. And then, so I thought my daughter was waking up, but she wasn't. So, I let the dogs back out, or I let them out for a little bit longer after they ate. And then I um, walked again for like another like 20, 25 minutes. So sometimes I'm able to do that. Like I'll wake up and try to put her back to bed and then do it again. <laughs> I just do it until basically I can get a minute to get some time for myself. But it's it's not easy. It's not like my daughter wakes up at eight o'clock every day or something like that. Like where my son, he'll sleep in, you know, until whenever. So anyways, so today, well, yesterday my daughter went to her dad's house for a little bit. And usually I'll do something with Walter we played my uh, Roblox on the computer and we hung out at home, but sometimes he'll want to like go out somewhere and do something like that, but he never mentioned it. So I didn't bring it up, but now he's saying <laughs> last night when we were like reading our bedtime stories, he's like, oh, we need to go to the park. And I'm like, mm. so now today, he wants to go to the park and it would be okay. I would be totally fine with it, but I 
needed to get some groceries. I have to meal prep today. And then, oh, I have to get water. So I have to do all that stuff. And getting water, I just go to like a, a water station and fill up my containers. I used to go to the grocery store and do it, but after me trying to go there to Kroger and then like them not having water in the water station, in the store, I just quit going there because it was more of a hassle. I would bring my jugs in with the container and then like I would go try to get the water. They didn't have water, so I had to bring all my jugs back to my car, yada yada. A big fucking pain in the ass. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just trying to get ready a little bit before I have to go out of the house and do all that stuff. Um, I'm making a video now because I honestly don't think I'm going to record my meal prep today. I'm going to do it, but I just don't really feel like recording it today and having to uh, mess with the video and uploading it. Um, but yeah, that should be pretty good. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to do... Um, so this time I'm just going to do um, the chicken and the chicken thighs and the hamburger mix. But I'm going to use frozen vegetables. I think I got butternut squash, zucchini, and like a cauliflower mix. I try to stay away from like broccoli and cauliflower as much as possible because my daughter, she she gets really frustrated because she gets gassy. She doesn't like it. And because she's eating what I eat, theoretically, um, yeah. Some things I just can't eat like I want to eat. Like, I'd rather just eat chicken, broccoli, and cauliflower because it's like low calorie type of deal. Low carb. That's what I meant. Low carb. I don't know. Basically because it's, I can eat it without having to worry too much about like carbs. So, but because I am nursing her, can't really do that because she gets upset. Just like I don't want to be eating spicy food because it also is going to like upset her stomach, tummy. Anyways. Um, as far as the puppy goes, she's doing really good. Um, she just likes to cry <laughs> at nighttime for a little bit when I put her in the playpen. Cause I don't really like her out and about because she's still little and she's not fully potty trained. And also in my opinion, any kind of dog like that shouldn't be like running around the house at night or unattended because they like to like chew on stuff and you know, they could get themselves in trouble, they could get hurt, they could choke on something. It's just not the responsible thing to do. I've watched way too many dogs to know better than to leave the dog uh, unattended. Yeah. I don't know why I did my mascara first, but Maybe I won't even put eyeshadow on. I don't think I'm going to do that. But, so the park, I have to get water today and I have to do meal prep. And then I have a dog going home at 7. Work's actually been super slow this year. I'm usually like way booked up in the winter. But for some reason, that's not the case this year. I'm guessing it's the economy with like all this stuff going on. 
in other countries, like the war and stuff, so. I mean, that's my guess. And then also, I'm sure, like, politics has to do with it. Presidential bullshit. <laughs> so, I'm not really into all that, but whatever. I just do what I gotta do to make money and provide for my family. That's that's my priority. So, um, I have been looking for a puppy though, another female, preferably a pied female. That's really what I'm going after. And then also just setting money aside for those uh, upcoming you know, goals as far as like uh, when it comes to breeding, I have to get some things so I'm ready and have the money set aside for like progesterone testing, um, the cesarean, just supplies, deworming, vaccinations, everything like that that goes into it. So, yeah, as far as the business side goes, I think I'll be okay. I'm just going to keep my current LLC and just kind of like piggyback on that until I uh, am officially done boarding dogs. So basically because um, when you first start breeding, if you don't have more than a certain amount of females, it's technically considered a hobby. Um, so yeah. Uh, it's going to be Doggy Biz Kennels, so that's my plan. I'm going to piggyback on that, so that way I don't lose my, um, like, followers as far as what I've gained so far with my boarding business, and then also use that in my advantage to, uh, make, you know, a bigger outreach, that's what I'm trying to say to for marketing i don't know why i can't even think right now but yeah that's pretty much it um christmas plans it's kind of like <laughs> so my daughter's going is has a regular scheduled visit with her dad on christmas eve and then she's supposed to go over there on christmas day and i guess i feel different about it because like um, my son is closer in age with her than him and his son, and his son is like, I'm guessing he's probably close to 18 years old, but I guess it's just different for me having to share her on the holidays. I feel like it's kind of inconvenient, <laughs> but... That's just me wanting to be selfish, if I'm being 100% honest. It's just me wanting to be selfish. Which I'm sure at times he probably feels the same way, right? Mm -hmm. But it's going to be different. I plan on cooking this year. I'm going, even though it's really just going to be like me, Carlos, Walter, our son, and then Haley here and there. I mean, it's... And I really don't have, like, that many dogs booked. So it's going to be super chill, I think, this year. And I'll actually be able to cook without having to focus on, like, six dogs boarding. Eight dogs, nine dogs. Because typically on the holidays, I would board. Like, before I had my daughter, I was boarding up to, like, 11, 12 dogs total. All total with our dog. So yeah, I was way too busy to be <laughs> thinking about cooking. But this year I'm gonna cook, I think. So the plan is to have lasagna on the 23rd. And then on the 24th, we're gonna have leftover lasagna. I'm gonna cook homemade like bread with cheese inside of it, like make like a Christmas tree um, garlic bread thing. And then I'm also going to make like an hors d'oeuvre. They're like those little smoked sausages wrapped in bacon. And then on Christmas morning, I wanna make a cinnamon twist 
snowflake thing that I've seen on Instagram. And then on Christmas Day, I'm also going to be making ham, mashed potatoes, or scalloped potatoes, and stuffing and gravy. So, it's a lot of food, <laughs> but we, I never, like, cook, like, a full, full meal like that, unless it's a holiday, so it's nice. It'll be nice. I wish I could have, like, more family over but they live so far away that it's just not really feasible i would love to be able to or once i'm at that point to where i can just pay for all my family to get plane tickets and come visit for the holidays that would be super cool when we're planning a visit there in april but that's just something we want to do for the kids like for their birthdays so yeah i would love to just fly my family here ideally but yeah i think this is it um yeah so i'm going to do meal prep today but i'm not gonna film it but yeah i hope you guys are having a great week and a great week ahead and i will talk to you guys later Thanks for subscribing and watching my videos. Bye.